Hello and welcome to the Snackdown, sponsored by Walker's Crisps. We're going to be looking back at a few things we spotted this month on the information superhighway, or the internet, as some people are starting to call it. And joining me this month, there's a man who, whether he likes it or not, will always be associated with phones. Please will you welcome Alexander Graham Bell. No, it's Tom <laughs> Jolly. Do you see what I did I there? Did. It was a phone joke. Thanks, it was a guys. phone joke. Also, returning to the Snackdown, because we loved him so much last time and because he's actually quite cheap. It's comedian Adam Hess. Hello. Hi. Hello. And I'm joined by journalist, comedian and showbiz pal, if I may refer to you thusly, um, a woman whose surname in Yiddish means brainy, and she certainly is. It's Viv Groskop. Hello. Hello, showbiz pal. Hi, showbiz pal. Um, so, uh, <laughs> do, does it put a lot of pressure on you that your surname means brainy in Yiddish? Well, my surname is Groskop, which I've always thought just means fathead. Fat policeman. Right. Oh, no, yeah. Well, well it means... <laughs> uh, cop. You, yeah. you just happen to have landed with uh, the only comedian, to my knowledge, who has done a PhD uh, in Yiddish. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, Groiskop uh, means a clever... It literally is a big, a big head, but it actually does mean a clever person. I'm a comedian called Jolly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no yeah, yeah, that's true, like, yeah. Did yeah. You, do you, you know, is that your real name? You go, no, like Mr. Tickle was taken, so I decided to do that. Right. And then we got Hess. Hess, yeah. Let you, yeah. Let's not even go there let's in this conversation. There. Yeah, that's awkward, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, welcome team. And uh, yeah, it's been quite a month since our last podcast or vodcast, if you're watching on the YouTube. Uh, Kensington Palace released some official cute photos of Prince George with his new little sister. The Duchess of Cambridge took the photos herself, which is lovely, though she could have saved herself the trouble by just appearing in public any time, day or night. <laughs> the month of May also brought with it two bank holidays, so no one will know what days the bins go out until mid-October. And festival time is upon us. Just remember, if you didn't manage to get tickets for your favourite festival, then you can recreate it by putting your TV in your neighbour's garden, standing in the rain right behind a complete stranger with his girlfriend on his shoulders, and weeing in a bucket for three days. And thanks for your supportive laughter in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it was quiet. Yeah, it was really Really quiet. We were that's listening hard. You were hard. pitching to them, not us, really. It, I felt. That's it. But now it's time to look at some stuff on the internet in Inside the Packet. You see, it's... it's uh, oh, everything is crisp. So yeah, yeah, we do it very it. subtly, no, no, but it's, it's, you know... It's been a bad time for GCSE exams uh, this, this season, many of which um, have received a U or an F or whatever you get when you fail nowadays. First, there was the chemistry question. I don't know if you read about this. The chemistry question that asked what the chemical formula for lime scale was. Do, do, did you, do you know what the chemical... Calcium carbonate. I think that, you're absolutely. Wow, absolutely. you haven't lost your beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no beans, Very. How would you possibly know that? Like everyone knows that because he's only he's seventeen. He's only he just remembers. He's stuff. just yeah, finished. Yeah, really. He's probably uh, come straight out the exam. So yes, congratulations. It is calcium carbonate, and what that uh, the chemistry exam did is that they asked the question, "What is uh, lime scale?" And then the very next question, they said, "Lime scale is calcium carbonate," and then explained some other question. So do you see? It was too easy. Uh, yeah. Did you not have read? But maybe that was just to give you know see if they were. We're concentrating. Oh, a bonus question for turning up. Yeah. I, it's I, so yeah, easy not nowadays. Laughing. But that, that's, that brings me to the point that like, should we, uh, should exams be more about life? I was never taught um, if you're ever given a name badge, don't put it right in the middle. You look mental. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one, like, I didn't, no one said, yeah, it's got to put it there, otherwise. But you're you're pointing to your right breast, where surely you I'd wear a name badge on yeah. the left I'd breast. I'd absolutely put it on the left, yeah, always. Whoa, speaking. Oh, I mean, it is weird to put it on the middle, but a name oh, badge. Either way. You'll go left, yeah. yeah. Either, either way. No, well, not I mean, either way. Oh, is, I mean, a name badge in itself is weird. Anyway. When is, do you need to wear a name badge? This is so Audrey. weird. Like, I'm oh, okay. a more, more serious breast owner than anyone else around this half table. No one's going to quibble with that. But I've on. never worried about which side it's on. Well, that's maybe why people don't talk to you. But would you imagine now you're <laughs> being given a name well. badge? Where, which side do you put it on? Come on, just. I yeah. think yeah. Put of it course, here. you put it on your left, on your left breast. Like normal but people. But look, I'm pointing higher look up. Look at him now. He's going left. I've gone higher right. Okay, what if it was? You're flip flopping. What if someone gives you a sticker if it's a sticker left and you put left it on but breath. they put it give it on your left hand they put it on your left but they hand. don't give it to you but you've got you got a drink in it. that you've got a drink in that one so here's your name but i don't badge. have a drink in my right hand always 
Exactly. So yeah, you put they, it in your left hand. Yeah, put it there. Cross bang. over. Wow, do you no, guys why go would to you cross over? where you get given drinks? This is cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And name you badges. Guys are so and cool. we're so posh. <laughs> things, I tell you, things have changed. When I mean, I know O levels and GCSEs, that's that's changed. But we we always had a year off, not a gap year. And I don't know. Year out. Uh, oh, year, year out. out. Yeah. yeah. Out of what? I don't I'm know. I'm taking a year out. out. I'm taking but a year out. When did it become gap year? And also, we never used the term uni. When did uh, people start saying uni? Uni came from neighbours. Yes. Like, absolutely. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't point. You're too young. No, no, <laughs> to toad, toadfish. This toadfish. 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 Well, toadfish. I know toadfish is. This is way to uni. before she got, I'm going to uni. I'm going to uni. It was exactly where it came from. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that would make sense. That because that, that, was, yeah. that was, I, I was already. Go, I, did, yeah. I know that one. Everything has come full circle for me in exams now because my father retired has become an invigilator. So he is now being Mr. Authority. Right amongst these poor kids who are just trying to take their exams and he just loves psyching them out. Oh, so he walks around the room really, really slowly, has a whole system of rearranging pens in an irritating way. Yeah. What? And then he gets the paper and he stands near people and goes, no! <laughs> That's great. Does he behave like that at school now, at home now? Oh, yeah, he's always. Does he invigilate now at home? At mealtime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're well, just walking around going, peas, mm, peas. So tasty. So tasty. Great. Well, thanks for that. Um, that's exactly. <laughs> thanks for that. That, is, that, that is how we end that. Bit. So, thing. however we've done, you know, yeah. whatever bit we end in. When do yeah, we yeah. get the results? Uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> now for something I, I, I'm really excited about that came out this month. Um, I, so I am getting on a bit age-wise, but I like to stay healthy. I like to feel that uh, my body is my temple. Unfortunately, that temple is now the Acropolis. Um, so <laughs> it's good news to me that um, the dad bod... The dad bod is apparently in. Um, so if you've not heard about this, uh, the dad bod is described as, uh, in one article, I'm reading out the quote here, it's a nice balance between a beer gut and working out. Mm. It's like if you've got the sort of body where you're just borderline thinking, well, I'm, I want to go swimming in the sea, should I wear a T-shirt? Then that is cool now, oh, okay. apparently. Um, have you heard Have you heard about the oh, dad bod? Is it starting to get hot in here? Is it, do you, does it excite you, the dad bod? Um, I, well, the actual dad bod I love what love a bit of, of a, a dad. The, dad the actual dad so, bod so uh, you have to have had children thing. Have to... well no but... just any kind of dad bod as described I love the concept of the dad bod I think is evil because it's making men feel the same insecurity that women have been made to feel for years. Uh -huh. but it's because they were great. How do you how do you feel about the dad bod then, Don? I've, I mean, I've had a dad bod since I was sixteen, really. I'm, <laughs> I'm a barrel on sticks. You know, I'm now down to average dad size, I think, and uh, I'm I'm good now. But I walk two hours a day with my pig. <laughs> It's not oh, a joke. Right. What's, so your, cool. what's, your, what's your what's your pig George called? Well, unfortunately, I adopted him because uh, from Cheltenham, so he's already. Oh, well, so he's not actually biologically. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I mean, I didn't. Now, have, I, didn't dad I didn't have naming rights, and uh, he was already called Wilbur, which I think is the pig from Babe. So it was a bit annoying. I wouldn't have called yeah. him that. And I suppose, in a way, the pig and I have similar bodies, so we hang out by the pool. Do you take you take the pig to the pool? I, well, we, that I sounds a like a euphemism. That, is that not a euphemism? I have a pool to and toilet. my pig swims in my pool and my wife is not happy with it. Your pig swims in... Pigs swim and they're, they're really In your do pool? Yeah, you yeah. have a pool? I do have a pool, yeah. Wow, well done, man. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do, yeah. Yeah. I'm rich. I don't think you have to be rich to have a pool. It didn't say how big the pool was. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for that. That was fun. <laughs> Didn't we pass? No, so far, so good. <laughs> but it was another thing that went out this month. It was a website that um, you f put a picture of your um, face in or anyone's <laughs> face in, uh, and it told you, it analysed, it goes analysing, and then it their little box appears telling you how old it thinks uh, you are. Well, what, is this for really stupid people who don't know their own age? Yeah, there are other ways, there's other <laughs> ways to watch Just it look in your passport. <laughs> you have like, lost your birth old... certificate. Yeah. Hello. We can help. <laughs> it's how old you look, I think. Oh, I put a photo of myself into that thing. I think I failed it because it picked up on a crease on my shirt thinking that was the face. No, that'll be <laughs> your name badge. No, that's where you weigh on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It doesn't work. You put it on the left. Oh, it's it's crease. Mine, mine, I'm depressed to say, got me absolutely right. It got my age abs oh, 26. Okay. Really? Well, yeah. No, it got me absolutely Did right. Did you do it? Yeah. Why? I've never but seen... For this, I didn't, oh, yeah. I'm not that shallow. Oh, you've but done I didn't, ours, yeah, have you? done all of them. What do you have, say? What oh, here we go. Have, you, do you want to know, though? Yeah, yeah. But I hang see, on, what yeah. photos did you use? I used uh, the your Twitter profile. Oh, well, photos. I'm in trouble. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you all right? Are you all right for me to tell you yeah, to reveal the Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. really heavily airbrushed. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Adam, yours came out as 27. Is that your age? 
It was then. It was then. Yeah. Right. Okay. So twenty six now. 26 now. Um, <laughs> no, that is not. My, that is not my age at all. Nor was it the age of the photograph. I mean, I should say that um, people have been putting all sorts of things in it, like um, celebrity bottoms. So, oh, so that it's not. You know, it's not. You know, authentic. Don't yeah. worry. Well, so, what, what's everyone else got? Oh, uh, we don't need uh, uh, <laughs> Do you want to know? You yes, are. Yes. You came out as thirty two. Oh, well done. So you think I'd look a lot older than 32? Not yeah. at all. See, this is a nightmare, Shit. isn't it? This is yeah. what I really regret doing. I did ask you. I did ask. I have to we say, can't see the photo. It is, that is a very complimentary assessment. Beforehand, I did ask yeah, all our go. guests, I asked all our yeah. guests if they were okay for yeah, me to yeah, read I, this out. I, it is and a complimentary assessment, but obviously you just want it to say 18. Oh, 32. Right. Kill for 32. Yeah. Oh, my God. Really? But that's because we're much older than you. So, oh, Dom, I put in your profile picture, but... To be uh, fair, my profile picture's a bit odd. It did say, couldn't detect any faces. Oh, fantastic. On it, uh, <laughs> because you're pulling off some prosthetics I'm ripping off a prosthetic face. So, yeah. uh, so that's not true. So, Could so detect too faces. many two faces. faces. Yeah. Yeah. So it just said two-faced. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I dyed my hair for quite did a few you? years. Uh, my mid to late 30s. Did you? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't... You know, it wasn't. Did you do it yourself or have it done at a salon? <laughs> no, I had it done at a salon. It was... Oh, it was that was, is so hilarious. It was, oh, God, it was terrible. I can say it now because I've... I've moved on. Did what they color? I hated aging so much. I, I, my so-called natural color, um, so that, that just funny? to get rid of the grey, um, which which. And what terrible excuse would you make up to the hairdresser? Because I bet you didn't. No, say they're, it's they're I'm hair, they'd have they have a whole queue of men of really? my age who are doing that. Is there like a code? Like I'm here for the. Uh, yeah. And the terrible thing is that it would be great for about two or three weeks, or it look a bit painted on black yeah. then. Um, but then there'd be a, a sort of beautiful <laughs> period, two or three weeks of absolute perfect, that guy hasn't got a grey hair on his head. I, mean, I don't know and you, then but it I would... don't see you as that. No, Ooh, no, I'm very, I, I just struggle with ageing. And then it, then it would go orange. The, the grey hairs would come out as little orange hairs. And Why? then it was like, get, well, that's just the, the dye. I don't Summon. know. Yeah. 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 I, when was... when boy bands used to get highlights, I got uh, some <laughs> highlights. of the dates. <laughs> I, How old were you? I, that was in the 80s. No, no, I, no, back in my day, it was having, like when Blazing Squad were all the Blazing Squad? Yeah. Blazing Squad? <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> they, 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 they were like 50 They would get highlights and I was like, I want to be Kenzie. So I got some what? highlights. I went to the shop. I went to the hairdressers. And got <laughs> got highlights, and on my way back, a friend of mine just saw me in the street, and he said, "No, you can't come on the the, the lad's holiday looking like that. <laughs> we have to dye your hair." So he bought me some black hair dye and dyed my. It was so it's a very intimate moment. Um, dyed my hair black, but then by the time it had the holiday, my hair was just a weird. I look like Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. <laughs> it was like perfectly black, but it was too black. Yeah, I love Viv's like... hair right now. Yeah, I'm not Thanks, being rude, John. but it, no, but I really do. It's David Bowie. I love your dad. Like, I love it's, your like, dad boy. it's like Mulder and Scully here. The tension. <laughs> <laughs> the David Bowie low cover. You're doing the David Bowie Man of Fell to Earth thing. He was in Extras. Yeah. What? Yes, he was. That's the guy well from done. Extras. Yeah. The guy from Extras. Yeah. <laughs> the what? David. David Bowie. David, David Bowie, Bowie, Bowie yeah. is now known as the guy from Extras. I think he was doing a I'm a young person joke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Blazing Saddles. <laughs> no, Blazing Saddles. <laughs> <Blazing. laughs> like, I'm Kenzie from Blazing Saddles. <laughs> this is just the show. I'm trying. Oh, yeah, I'm down with the youth. Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that one. Uh, so, moving on, this month also saw a couple of new Twitter accounts and uh, some articles on the internet about holiday complaints. I think it's the time of year. I've got a couple of samples here. Um, uh, this is quite a good one. It took us nine hours to fly home from Jamaica to England, but it only took the Americans three hours to get home. Oh, come on. That's not real. That's, that's just... You think that's made up? Yeah, it's just some Something's made up on up. the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about this one? The brochure states, no hairdressers at the accommodation. We're training hairdressers. Will we be okay staying there? What? Listen, I saw... That's just a bad joke. These aren't real. <laughs> come on. This complaint has to be real, okay? There's, there's a person who complained to police. I've seen this on two sources. Oh, that's got to be right. So it's got to be right. Yeah. Um, one of which probably copied the first source. Never yeah. mind. A person who complained to police that the staff had locked her into her hotel room overnight because she got confused because the do not disturb sign on the inside of her door she thought was put there by them to keep her inside the room. This <laughs> woman is supposed to have thought that do not do disturb not referred to the world world outside the yeah, hotel yeah, yeah, room. Yeah, what, she yeah. was told not to disturb the what? world. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I don't that's believe... That's a brilliant concept. I don't yeah. believe anyone who... <laughs> <in> that's <laughs> amazing. <But> philosophically, <laughs> yeah. she but could just sit there no going, way I mustn't that, touch anything. Else. No way that anyone stupid enough to make that mistake can even read. I hate 
uh, traveling. I hate airports. I, I mean, oh, my I idea, airports. my I well, I hate being late, or the, I'm so paranoid about being late to an airport. My ideal holiday would be getting to the airport a week early, yeah, flying, uh, and then staying in the airport for a week so that I make sure that I'm there for the flight back. I'm just so neurotic about it. But that it. sounds to me like you enjoy the flight so much. You don't want to. Miss no, I just I enjoy the flight <laughs> because I've made it. I've got yeah, on there. I, I'm me, with you in really? this. I will come and live with you in the airport. I've, like, had, yeah. I've traveled with people who I go, I late. like being early at airports, and I have blown them out of the way. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've gone, geez, you have a pro uh, problem. You know, yeah, I, have... I once had to catch a flight to China. Oh, right. Because yeah. I'm also quite rich. Because you're rich, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was traveling with a friend who I did not know was the opposite. She would do everything to avoid going to the gate. Oh, oh. buy a magazine oh. in this shop, oh, buy a no, perfume, no. buy some champagne. No. Because it's but, three pounds cheaper. Was she one of those people that's like, my bag's on board. Yes. Nobody's going exact, anywhere till I arrive. Exactly. She's kind of right in that way. But, but oh. it's Why psychotic. Do you it? It's psychotic. But it's like people that, the plane lands, they all jump up and stand, yeah. get their bags out and then just yeah. wait for in, like yeah. 40 minutes. With that like sort of hunched Yeah, whereas I do the cool... Just sit and go, we're all going to leave. And there's always someone at the window who's like, but I must get my yeah. bag and stand. It's unbelievable. But and then you get on the plane. I mean, it's crazy. I, I, I understand that being silly. But the idea of missing the plane, I just, I just as soon as the gate is there, but I'm get another plane. legging. What? No. Yeah. Oh, what are right. you doing? My no, God. This, what? Oh, this this is, oh, my God. But I get there early, but not because I like the airport experience in the sense that I think airports, like when you're thinking about traveling, you've got other stuff. You've got real life you worry about. And when you arrive somewhere, you're sort of in that. But when you're in the airport, sort of limbo. It's limbo. It's so, so money like doesn't limbo. matter. Like you no. go and you just buy stuff because I'm going away. Like I'll deal with bills when I come back. I am like you. Once I'm on the plane, I'm already thinking about catching the flight back. Yes. What? Oh, brilliant. Do I need to have already been checked in for that? Yes. Because now you do. Yes. So already I'm travelling a, a week later. Is it just so planes in my or mind. all travel? No, like trains? Yeah, all I mean, slightly nervous, really. but obviously there's more pressure on a plane Why? because if you miss it, then you're one. shot. Right. Well, I don't know what it's like. Have you miss ever a missed a plane? No, God, no. I have, no. I have once been very close when I did a... a what, four hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was... I, they wouldn't let me. There was a connection in uh, Mexico City. They wouldn't let me on the plane. And I needed Ooh, to... Mexico I needed City. to get... I need... Because I'm rich. Yeah. Uh, and I, I needed to get on that plane uh, to get home, obviously. Uh, and, uh, and I ended up literally... And this was when I was on the telly quite a bit. Literally begging on my knees, no. crying, going, please, you've got to let me on the plane. As every as all the British people were boarding and going, oh. isn't that bloke on the telly? Let me on the plane, please. And uh, they did let me on the but plane. If but the other people were boarding. Yes. Why were they stopping you? Because I hadn't seen, got to the, the I hadn't got to the gate. Yeah, yeah they've seen some of my work. On the <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they, I hadn't got to, in time to the gate to then. I don't know what it was. I can't yeah. remember. But it was just like it was very traumatic. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for. Um, Let's eat some crisps. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dom Jolly, Viv Groskop, and Adam Hess for coming out to play today. Thank you so much. Uh, also, Amanda Wilkie, Andrea Mann, James Martin, and Adam Kay for coming up with some stuff. Goodbye! <laughs>